Here are some tracks from the Paluxy River. This one is right in the Dinosaur State Park. This one is just outside uh, the park. And if you look at this one closely here, some claim that this, the metal tarsal right here looks like a footprint. But if you go back further, you can see the claw marks on it here, that it's not actually a footprint. Those claw marks will fill in easy, so it looks like it's a human footprint here, when actually it's a dinosaur footprint. And sometimes uh, those will fill in, the claw marks will fill in. Yeah, or in other cases, it's happened in partially, the mud's come back over the front, the end of the toe here. But in the case of these metatarsal tracks, if the mud, because they're narrower, if the mud comes back completely, or almost completely, you will have uh, just the metatarsal segment in the back remaining and uh, in combination sometimes with some erosion or infilling you'll have a pretty human-like print what? remaining and you can find tracks like this right in line with other prints where the toes have been collapsed or infilled or eroded they look a lot more human they're right in line with more distinct metatarsal dinosaur tracks this track was never claimed to be human but it illustrates the type of track which when the digits are subdued ends up looking like a human track and, the, and these are this from McFalls? No, this track is from the Alfred West site Alfred West site? which is near uh, Bowes Museum um, it's an area of the river that most people don't go into um, but it illustrates the type of track that was uh, claimed to be human when the digits are indistinct for example on the Taylor site and uh, the McFall ledge there were five trackways of these elongated metal tarsal tracks on the Taylor site which when you don't clean the digits well um, look superficially like human tracks and often um, they didn't clean the tracks very well um, there are all that are at least partly infilled with the secondary sediment which is subduing the impressions of the digits but when you clean the track well you can see the outlines of the infilling material and therefore the digits real plain and all the tracks on that site are definitely dinosaur tracks and in most cases they're the ones that were claimed to be human there are metatarsal dinosaur tracks um, meaning that they're putting or weight on or impressing their metatarsi, their soles and heels rather than walking just on their toes like most dinosaurs this one is a typical digit to grade or toe walking dinosaur track made probably by Acrocanthosaurus And this one over here, uh, this is a track uh, that was named Max um, after some giant, I think Bowers said it was named Max, but it also put your foot because there. it's uh, maximum yeah, size. It is there. It's a ridiculously large supposed human footprint, but in this case, it's one of the few alleged human tracks that were actually carved in the riverbed. Most of the carvings are on loose blocks of rock. Um, this appeared after Carl Bau had cleaned the surface and there was just uh, a layer of this of marl above the track bed. And um, you know, it just appeared the next day out of nowhere and was not in line with anything like it. And you can see the ridiculous, besides the huge shape, the very unnatural uh, shape and the bottom contours are all around where you would expect an indented ball of the foot there. You have a raised area actually and then the toes jutting down at an unnatural angle and level and kind of straight and just not at all uh, natural looking and so essentially what, what this is uh, is a carving in the marl or firm limey clay that overlies the track bed he apparently took and just gouged out the outline here this was the bottom of the actual track bed but this was just the marl that was carved or gouged away and then the toes apparently these alleged toes were to some extent gouged into the, the friable rock but the rest of this was just a flat rock surface that again the contours are all wrong there's no distinct heel impression 
it's hard to say where even the heel begins here. And then the ball's wrong, and the toes are all unnatural looking and just kind of drop, jut out in a straight, unnatural angle. And uh, depending on how you measure it, it's at least 25 inches long. I think Carl is saying 26. According to Al West, who made the mold from this, with the, from which uh, you know this cast was made, uh, Carl at first uh, made it a little bit shorter than this. It was about you know maybe 22 or 23 inches, and then he gouged these toes even farther to make it even larger. And uh, I don't think any other creationist even. Uh, ever really gave this much credence and uh, the few people who promoted for a while like Carl Bau and Hugh Miller stopped doing it I think even after they realized other strict creationists were not accepting it as a real human footprint. So anyhow okay. this is this is the embarrassing Max print.